It is now 1116. Jason Fraser at home tonight, filling in for Betsy. And uh, Jason, when I last saw you at 6 o'clock, Isaias was a tropical storm. Now I understand it's a hurricane again, right? Yes, and you know what? The hurricane hunters have been doing a great job. They, it is their job to fly into the storm. And at last check, those sustained winds were above 73 miles per hour. Wow. That's always the cutting edge. Once you have sustained winds above that, that's when it changes over from a tropical storm to a hurricane. And speaking of Isaias, I want to give you a live view of what's happening right now in Myrtle Beach right now. And you will see here that the winds are certainly whipping back and forth. Look at those lights right there, those blue lights that right there. We are already seeing uh, winds go up to about 105 miles per hour there in South Carolina. So here's what we know right now. It is about 40 miles south southwest of Wilmington, North Carolina. It's about 20 miles or so from Myrtle Beach. So we're expecting this system to make landfall here within the next hour, hour and a half. And when we talk about landfall, we're actually talking about the hurricane eye. So right now they're already seeing that wind and that rain. And what what's going to happen here over the next 24 hours is we're expecting to see Isaias really pick up speed and move up the eastern seaboard. I think by Tuesday evening, it's going to be already up in the New York City area. Closer to home, Doppler radar right now, we are getting, for the most part, a reprieve from some of the moisture that was moving through. Uh, those of you south and west of downtown Cleveland, including over in the Mansfield area right now, just seeing some light showers, but you'll notice here on the Doppler radar that's also mixed in with the satellite, we are seeing quite a bit of cloud cover across much of the region, and we do have some drier air to our west. That is going to slowly push into our neighborhoods here within the next 36 hours, but we have at least one other day where we will see a lot more moisture push across our area. Right now, temps are in the 60s right now, including 68 degrees in Elyria, 67 at the Cuyahoga County Airport, as well as over in Ashtabula. National Design Mart, hour by hour forecast. So overnight, we'll see temperatures dipping down into the lower end of the 60s. There might even be one or two of you that may end up seeing the 50s, the upper 50s. The farther inland you are, the more likely that you'll see the temps dip down into the 60s. And then you may notice here that the winds are pretty much going to shift from the north to the south. And that is part of the reason why some of you may end up seeing along the lake shore another water spout or two. You may remember last week right around this time we did see some water spouts. And if you do, feel free to tag me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Jason Fraser TV. Or you can use the WKYC app to upload some pictures there. 10 a.m. We will start to see a few ship more showers develop and right around lunchtime we'll see even more showers across the region. You will end up seeing some peaks of sunshine. So this will not be widespread rain where we're talking about rain showers all afternoon. That's not going to be the case. It's just going to be one of those things where you'll see those pop up showers and then it'll be just cloud cover and then it'll be some sunshine and then more cloud cover as well as some rain showers. Universal Windows Direct seven day forecast. We cool off for the next couple of days. High temperature tomorrow in the mid 70s. 74 for Wednesday, 78 by Thursday. And then, Laura, we start to improve to the upper 80s by this weekend. And then look at what happens starting next week. We return back to summer-like weather. So I know you asked me earlier, were we done with summer? We are not. Summer is making a big return, but we're just going to have to wait for it to happen. All right, just a few days. Jason, thanks so much.